highest good living. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 306. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is a weekly progress update number 306, February 3rd, 2019 edition. One Community's mission is to bring together people with a consciousness for the highest good of all life on this planet and to build self-replicating and sustainable teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. And today what I want to talk about is highest good living. When we use the term highest good, we mean, well, first and foremost, we need to say our disclaimer, which is that we don't know exactly what is for the highest good. We can just do the best that we think is for the highest good. We're not claiming to have some secret knowledge as to what is definitely and definitively for the highest good of all life on this planet. What we can say is that having the goal and the intent to do our absolute best to live and create for the highest good of all life on our planet is a step in the right direction. And so we are creating open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of highest good living. And this includes the physical foundations of sustainability and highest good living, which would be food, energy, and housing. And we're combining those with the emotional foundations of sustainability and highest good living, which we've identified as highest good uh, economic models, highest good education models, fulfilled living practices, and true earth stewardship. And we're putting these things together as an evolution of sustainability, an open source and free shared evolution of sustainability that we want to share with the world and teach people how they can replicate it, how they can modify it, how they can adapt it, expand it, improve it, and make it even more hopefully, for the highest good. And so we call this highest good living. Living and creating for the highest good of all life on this planet, doing our best to, to practice and walk, practice what we preach, walk the walk, and demonstrate to the best of our ability sustainability in all aspects of our life, living in integrity with each other, living in integrity with our local communities, living in integrity, of course, with our own community, and living in integrity with the world, trying to create a better world for everybody. And this is what I volunteer my time to full time is creating this highest good living, taking the food, the energy, the education models, the economic models, put it together to build one community as a place that people will be able to visit and experience and stay in a cob home. And then the next day, if they want to stay in an earth bag home and the next day, stay in a treehouse village and the next day to be able to stay in a shipping container home so that people can experience these things and then open sourcing and free sharing the complete process, not just the designs and plans, but the actual process of construction, the process of working with counties to get things permitted, the process of pouring foundations, all these details in relationship to the infrastructure and the economic model and the fulfilled living models, the social architecture, the education, putting all these things together as a teacher demonstration community, village, city, or hub that can be built anywhere in the world and specifically designed to be self-replicating because we're making it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrating as attractive enough so the idea of high school living can, can spread on its own. And this is what you see in the background of the video here. These are the villages that we've designed. In a moment, it's going to go into the education. You'll see the different components of the education model, uh, fulfilled living practices, all these different things, the food aspects of it, putting them together so that people can reduce the amount of uh, expenses that they have in relation to their living experience so people can live together in cohesion and harmony with people who share their values and share their goals and dreams and things that they want to create so people can have more time to do the things that they want to do and more of those things to do all within walking distance of their home because it's all part of the community model, the social architecture. And that doesn't mean that it all has to be implemented together. Our idea of highest good living is that people can take the individual components and replicate them, or they can replicate the complete teacher demonstration community, village, city, or hub, and build that as a way to totally transform the way that they're living towards sustainability, to live an abundant life where they have more free time, more resources, and our entire model, our open source, free sharing, and global change model is also open source and free shared. We're open sourcing the process of open sourcing what it is that we're doing so that we can teach people how to do that as well. And through this, we believe that we can move the world to an open source world where sharing and cooperation and collaboration become the norm instead of competition. Doesn't mean you can't have friendly competition, but it doesn't make a lot of sense for so few people on this planet to hoard 
all the resources when we have the ability to create environments, self-sufficient environments, to fund these environments ourselves, to create these environments ourselves, and to set ourselves free from the traditional paradigm. And so our organization is an all-volunteer, 100% a volunteer, nonprofit. We're all unpaid volunteers, including myself, organization creating all of this, nonprofit organization for the highest good of all life on this planet because we want to live this way, because we want to share how to live this way, and we want to see other people living this way. And because when we run the numbers, the idea of creating a self-replicating model like this, if we can create, when we build one community as the first model, if that first model can stimulate two additional models through the open source blueprints and tools and resources and instructions, everything that we're creating, telling people exactly how much time it will take to build an earthbag village, exactly how much it'll cost to build an earthbag village, all the problems and challenges that we ran into and how we solved those problems and working with these organizations. If one community can stimulate two communities the next year and those three working together can stimulate four more and all those working together can stimulate eight and then 16 the year after that and 32 after that and 64 after that. If you do that for 30 years, we could include every single person on the planet. And that's realistically, not everybody will want to live this way, but we can positively and permanently impact the lives of every single person on this planet through a model like this once it becomes self-replicating and runs its course for 20 years. We can shift the global mindset to one of highest good living. We can move the global economies towards sustainable economies. We can do our part to address our contributions to climate change. We can do our part to address our contributions and re re reduce or completely eliminate our contributions to waste and garbage production. We have the ability to do this. The technology exists. The will exists in enough people to get this done. And so our organization is bringing together those people with a clear path, a clear guideline, a step-by-step -step process, and we are replicating it, we are open sourcing it, we are sharing it, we are developing it, doing everything necessary to make it easy to access, affordable enough so that people can replicate it, and attractive enough so that people will actually want to do it for those reasons as well. And we call this selfish philanthropy, I call this selfish philanthropy, because through people meeting their own needs with a model like this, they can also help the world. And we believe, carrying the consciousness for the highest good of all, we believe that if we can create enough abundance for people, statistically speaking, and looking at the research and stuff that's been done on this, people will help other people if they're not struggling to survive themselves. People want to make a difference. Globally, people want to address poverty and starvation and homelessness and lack of energy infrastructure and quality education. I think that most people, though, are just struggling so much to survive on their own that they can't. And so we want to solve that problem and give people everything that they need to help others as well, to help themselves first and to help others after that. And so this is what One Community is doing. And with that said, here's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of highest good living, not just for us, but for everybody everywhere. Check it out. The One Community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team tested and confirmed the Murphy bed furniture designs will work with eight-foot ceilings and queen-size beds. And Vita Kumari Pandey, civil engineer, also completed her 31st week volunteering and now helping with the Earth Bay Village materials and costs. This week, she worked on earth bag tube filling cement quantity and earth bag quantity calculations. You can see some of this work here. Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, also completed his 38th week leading the development of the Murphy Bed Instructions. This week's focus was more diagram updates illustrating the wall section assembly, creating new placeholder images, and beginning the electrical details. You can see some of this work in progress here. Dan Alec, designer and illustrator, completed his 35th week helping with Earthbag Village render editions. This week he completed revisions and added to this view of the complete village looking west. This is now on the website too. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued working on the Earthbag Village. Here's weekly update 147 from Dean. This week's focus, as shown in these images, was working on building the urinal and shower elements. And Elizabeth Kahn, environmental consultant, completed her sixth week as a researcher with our team. This week, she finished researching the most sustainable urinal options and started researching feminine accessories and eco-alternatives to the chemical block that is usually used in urinals. You can see some of this work in progress here. 
One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued with week four of our research into lake and water retention landscape creation as an alternative source of water for the duplicable city center sprinkler and emergency systems designs, agriculture, gray water processing, and more. This week, we reviewed all the video content we have available to us and added to and started reorganizing our notes into a tutorial type of format. You can see some of this work here. The core team also reviewed all the latest AutoCAD updates for the lighting specifics for the city center. We made the layouts more uniform, removed unnecessary lights, and created a list of additional requested changes. We also wrote a tutorial for how to confirm sufficient outdoor views to meet lead requirements. You can see some of this work here. Tanya Griffin, Aubrianne Boyle, and Ali Marsh, interior designers from Lotus Designs, also completed their sixth week helping with the Duplical City Center interior design details. This week, they adjusted some of the custom-built bench details, finalized the overhead lighting plan, and selected the last remaining furniture. You can see some of this work here. David Olivero, mechanical engineer and data scientist, also continued helping finish the City Center HVAC designs. This week, he focused on the tutorial and added all the pool and calculation narrative details and graphics, some of which you can see here. And James Harrigal, student researcher, also completed his ninth week researching the best, safest, and most sustainable paints. This week's focus was finishing the process of integrating the lead points details, identifying a new company and adding their products to the paints and stains recommendations, and creating a new resources list. You can see some of this behind the scenes work here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued writing the behind the scenes narrative and the detailed food rollout plan for the various stages of development. This week, we researched parts of the drip irrigation system and created the initial fencing plan for the goat enclosures. You can see some of this work here. The core team also began research and design of the chicken coops needed for 100 chicks. You can see some of this behind the scenes work here. And Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, completed his fifth week working on creating an open source icon and symbol set for our permaculture designs. What you see here are the icons created so far. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. With eight years invested in designing it, this component of one community is pretty much complete until we move on to the property and continue to develop it with teachers and students. Completed sections include comprehensive subject outlines covering arts and trades, English, health, math, science, social sciences, technology and innovation, and values. Also, 52 weekly themed lesson plans covering all the subjects we just mentioned, all learning levels and ages, and usable in any learning environment. 12 detailed and progressive curriculum outlines are also complete, summaries and integration of all the best known alternative education programs, including Montessori, Waldorf, ORF, Regio, and more and leadership skills, collaborative assessment formats and forums, a global online free education resource hub, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team continued working on the structural aspects of the ultimate classroom. We checked dome specifications, found an existing SketchUp pentadecagon model, and scaled it to the dimensions of the side and height of the projection dome to assess if this is still the direction we want to go. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team fixed half of the broken and incorrect links throughout our entire 1200 plus page website. You can see some of this work in process here, and we have about 200 more to go. Emilio Nahara, digital marketer, also continued with his 17th week as part of the marketing team. 
This week, he added additional keywords for the consensus, resource-based economy, and open source pages, and worked on new keyword lists for the evolving sustainability, water-saving showerheads, most sustainable toilets, most sustainable paints, and open source permaculture design pages. You can see some of this work here. Jin Hua, web and graphic designer, also reviewed all of Emilio's work and created two video tutorials to further assist him in improving and refining all the keyword lists he's completed so far. You can see some of this work here. In addition to this, the Highest Good Network software team consisting of Jordan Miller, web developer, Tyler Calvert, full stack software engineer, and Justin Kuhns, software engineer, continued developing the software. This week, the team finished design of the Teams page, added all the modal with links to user profiles, debugged issues with the API to be able to add new users to the development app, and continued the app integration with Redux. You can see some of this work here. There you have it. There is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of highest good living. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. If you'd like to see an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to one community updates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list. And of course, if you'd like to help or join our team, you can visit our helping page. And the easiest way to help us out, which is also on that helping page, is just to subscribe to our YouTube channel or like our information on social media networks. We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We're on Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, Reddit, Pinterest, Instagram, uh, LinkedIn, and about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible to access our information. So if you'd like to help out, uh, like our stuff, share it. Uh, help us spread the word. Take one of our pages that you think is the best and help us get the word out there. Share it. It makes a big difference. And if you're just watching to the end of this video and that's the way you're supporting us, great. We appreciate that too. Put a like on this video. That makes a big, big difference as well. Subscribe to our channel. Ring that bell if you'd like to get updates that way instead of by email. Uh, and until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks.